Hello, welcome to the Storytelling Show on CFRO 102.7 FM, Co-op Radio. My name is Padma, and I am an oftentimes host of the Women's Storytelling Show. But tonight, I am dedicating this program to all the wonderful people in my life, including the two sitting in front of me and the one behind me, um, who are in this control room with me. Anyways, let me say that the men, women, and children in my life are all great. The babies, too. Those babies are like little Buddhas. They calmly take it all in. And when life is too much, there's a loud cry, and they really let you know. One of the great things about living now is how people are really getting it. That there is something more to life than achieving goals, collecting objects, or being lost in suffering, feelings, or thoughts. How great that there are beings here on Earth to point the way when we may get lost. Uh, originally, I was going to have Katie Davis on the show, but because she works quite a lot with her husband, Sundance Burke, I'm welcome, welcoming them both to the show. So hello, Katie, welcome to the show. Hello, Sundance, welcome. Hello, Padma. Hi, Padma. <laughs> So thank you for being here tonight. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, um, I'd like you to share something with uh, the audience about yourselves. Would you like to tell us uh, about your life, your life journey, uh, what you do, all of that? So whoever wants to go first can begin. How did you meet, for example? Uh, well, actually, um, my aerobic studio burned down, and I, <laughs> I hired Sundance as uh, the attorney uh, to handle the fire loss, which is totally off point from what we're here to speak to tonight about awakening and self-discovery, <laughs> but that is how we met. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, it's sort of like a big event, right? A fire. I mean, that's going to get your attention, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes those big kind of keynote things that happen in life, they really... Um, they really signify something important. So it's like, hey, pay attention here, right? Well, this was like over 20 years ago. So, uh, and I had awakened just two years prior. So it was really, in retrospect, I c it can be quite funny to think of the great burning of the fire of truth. <laughs> 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 to have uh, the body business burned down and open to uh, the beloved. Right. Um, I got a quote from your website that says, Awakening is waking up from the daytime dream and realizing that who you thought you were is not limited to thought, emotion, or form. Beyond the imaginary seeker, beyond concepts and beliefs, there is a field of innocence and purity. We are this deep peace and sacredness, which is absolute and beyond all intellectual understanding. I invite you to recognize this precious essence of being and to directly realize the illusion of all psychological suffering due to misidentification, misperception of separation and attachment to conditioned thought. That's so beautiful. I was wondering if you could comment on that. And also in relationship to your own awakening. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. that people would be interested to hear. Awakening really is very much like just waking up from your nighttime dreams, except we wake up profoundly more. Uh, we realize that we have spent our entire life dreaming the ideas and concepts and beliefs of the mind. And it isn't something that we become. It's something that's here right now, totally fulfilled in every manner. And so, really... All we need to do is be aware of what really is right here. Every listener, just being here and recognizing what 
is truly present. Beautiful. And is there anything that you would say about the awakening experience, Sundance? Mm, uh, definitely. For me, uh, the awakening is is best. First of all, it's feeling your own being, feeling your own self. Um, my life before this so-called awakening, we just use that word for it, but my life before that was always like everyone else's life. It was outer directed. You know, I looked out into the world. I looked out to other people, out to events, out to movements, out to experiences. But I really wasn't that familiar with the within. And the awakening was when I turned within and found, you know, myself, found out who I was. In a, ver in a really um, simple sense, uh, when we recognize our own presence, we recognize what is so beautiful about life, and that is the love of being. The love of being. We turn back in, and then we, you know, we feel our breath, and we feel the aliveness within. And in a way, because we're turning within, we turn away from um, the mind, which is really all concerned about the outer, uh, the events, the people, the places. So in a sense, you kind of you kind of let go of the mind. And in that letting go of the mind and its thoughts, there is this spaciousness inside of us and this stillness that's behind all of those activities, behind all of those words. And this is something that is no longer a concept because it's beyond the thoughts. It's before the thoughts. And it turns out that it's the self. It's who we are. And it actually is exquisite when it's felt, when it's sensed. So for me, the awakening was discovering what is always here, what is untainted, and what is innocent. And I just simply call it um, finally finding uh, the awareness that the heart lives in. And one of the ways that you find this is by pointing people to practices such as uh, silence and meditation. And as you said, into the looking within. So how, how would you describe looking within? Is that just feeling the energy body or the awareness that's here? 